Yes, Jackie, we know Gerardo Rodriguez is facing a charge of first degree murder, and if charged and convicted, he would be facing possibly the death penalty. Today, going through those documents, we learned of the relationship between Rodriguez and the 15 year old victim. In the court documents obtained today by 23ABC, police say they went into the home on the night of April 10th and immediately noticed a man sweating and acting nervous. Police would later identify that man as 23-year-old Gerardo Rodriguez. Once inside the home, a woman led officers through the home to the detached garage where the body of Stacy Duke was found. The on-scene coroner examination shows Duke had signs of strangulation on both sides of her neck as well as bruising on her face and cheeks, swelling her left eye almost completely shut. Police spoke with several people inside the home who said Duke had been staying there for the last few days after saying she was homeless. In the documents, one person told officers of a past relationship between Rodriguez and Duke but said they were not together at the time. Another person says the two were together for about seven months after Duke lied to Rodriguez about her real age, saying she was 22 and not 15. Rodriguez appeared in court again today where he pleaded not guilty to his charge of first degree murder. He is set to be back in front of a judge in two weeks. And it's also worth noting in those documents that one family member told police the night of the murder that they had seen Rodriguez come out of the garage and when they went in to check what was going on in there, they found Duke laying on the ground unresponsive. In downtown Bakersfield, Andrew Worth, 23ABC.